welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something very different from cosplay and anime. Uh, as you can tell, we are going to be doing a DIY charcoal mask. Now, I just found out about this thing when my friends told me about it, and I was like, okay, sure, I'm going to be home alone tomorrow, or today, and I'll give it a try, sure, why not? And the best thing about this is because my friends, I mean, they'll go to the store and they'll just buy stuff for their face and whatnot because, I don't know, because they do that kind of stuff, but for me, I'm not really wanting to all this kind of stuff, but I was like, sure, why not, I'll, I'll give it a try. And the best thing about this is that uh, everything in this you could basically find around your house. Really simple, really easy. With some stuff that my friends have suggested, I'd, you'd have to go to the store and buy stuff, I'm like, I really don't want to do that for one I still can't drive on my own yet because I haven't got my all my drive hours in and I can't because of problems that our family has um so anyway so the stuff that you need is really simple a container this is just a clean basic container um a stopwatch of some well I'm gonna use a stopwatch uh, so I can time how long this takes a brush. I'm just using a basic old paintbrush. Glue. Regular glue. Liquid glue, not stick glue. Regular school glue. And charcoal powder. Now, some people don't have charcoal powder around their house. So, what I did, um, because I don't, I don't know if this is like, I don't know, I guess a hack or something, but if you need just charcoal powder, what I did was I took a mason jar, a regular mason jar lid to the ring in the, in the seal part, took two pieces of charcoal, put them in the jar, I'll do it, screwed the lid on fairly tight, and I just walked around all morning just shaking it back and forth. And I'm really good at shaking stuff hard because we used to make our own butter. And it takes forever. So you just shake it back and forth. And it'll hit the lid, it'll hit the sides, the two pieces of charcoal hit each other. And the charcoal just pops off. And then it'll smoke a little bit when you first pull it out. And then you go to pull a piece of charcoal out and your hands will be black can't see that. There we go. Black. Maybe worse. So yeah. And then, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I'm going to add a little bit of pure vanilla extract just to kind of make it smell like vanilla. The person I, the, my friend, <laughs> my friend who, um, did this. She did it with peppermint extract. And she told me to be wary to not let it get on any hair or anything you don't want to come off of your face because when it, once it like hardens on your face and you peel it off, everything will come off. So if you, if you like your eyebrows the way they are, don't cover your eyebrows. So I'm going to be very careful in doing that. Oh, and then maybe a measuring spoon if you want. So, I believe it is two teaspoons, so you can't read that. I hate the lighting in here. Let me see if I can get my phone light. So, two of these, TSP, that's how I always remember, two of these. Let me see if I can use this as more lighting on me. Let's see, it's it's a bit better. Not much though. Anyway, so you put the charcoal powder. There we go. How much is left? No. Oh. So just shaking it around a bit, I got about three teaspoons out of it. I'm gonna go clean this off. And please, children, when you're doing this, 
even if you're a teenager, please make sure what you're using, your parents won't mind if it doesn't come clean. Uh, I make sure my mom's appliances come out clean or else I fear for my life. And for the glue, my friend didn't say exactly how much glue to use. So, we're gonna wing it. Not too much though, would be my guess. That looks about good. Let me just twist it off. All right, so let me show you. Ooh, hard to see. There we go. Well, now it's hard to see because it's all covered up. But um, there was a good amount of it in there. Now I'm gonna mix it up, and then if I need to, add more glue. I believe you need a paste. You need to turn this into a paste. And I need more glue. So the glue must just be like, dependent upon how much you need and how much charcoal you have. Because you want to get all of the powder mixed up. This is looking fairly well. I might possibly have put a little too much glue in this, so just be very careful when you're doing the glue. Maybe not take the lid off, just open the top. That might be smart. So anyways, here's what it looks like. It just looks like gray tar to be exact. Tar, if you don't know what tar is, tar is black and it's sticky and it's terrible to get on yourself. I mean, believe me. If you see something that says tar, do not touch it. Like, avoid it at all costs. Because tar, once tar gets on you, on your clothes, you're never going to get it off. Alright, now I'm going to put in about a little bit of vanilla extract. This is a fourth of a teaspoon. Ooh, I'm going to spill my tea. I'm going to put about... Hmm. Yeah, I'll put about. Mm, I'll put another. I'll put two fourths of a teaspoon in. Just to make it smell nice. Because, I mean, I live on a farm. I'm used to the smell of animals, but still don't like it on my face. Alright, so. go. You can definitely smell the vanilla extract. Maybe put one fourth of a teaspoon in there and see how it turns out and then put another teaspoon in there or another fourth of a teaspoon in there if you want more. But I like this, this look here. It's very rather liquidy. Looks really gross but if it works it works. All right. Now, once again, you don't want this to get on your hair. That's why I'm wearing one of these headband things and I pull my hair back. So, I'm going to go to a mirror, put this on, and I will see you guys in a minute. All right, pups, I'm back, and here is my mask that I put on. Um, I avoided uh, some area around my mouth and mostly around my eyes. Uh, right here, I did uh, uh, shave the little hairs that grow in between my eyebrows. Uh, this morning in the shower, um, and yeah, so I didn't do it over here because my hair and my eyebrows are really close together, so I just avoided that area, and I avoided most of the area around my eyebrows, and I just got this on my shirt, and it can be very, it was very drippy for me, so I don't know, maybe I put too much, um, Uh, glue in it. I don't know. I just hope this charcoal comes out because it's still there. Anyway, so I'm going to time myself to see how long it takes for this to dry. And our stopwatch. And start. Alright, 
I've heard it can take an hour, 30 minutes to a half an hour. So, we're going to find out how long it takes for this doll to harden. And I've heard, my friend told me that once it hardens, it may be hard to talk. So when I come back, I might not be able to speak to you guys. So, yeah. And actually, I think I made a lot more than I should have. Because there's a lot left over. So, yeah, I'm going to go do my homework. And I will see you guys in a minute. Eddie. <laughs> Alright folks, it's been 50 minutes and um, it's really hard to talk right now because like, it's like hardened in place. And there's like not even enough room to stick my tongue out of my mouth, see? It's really hard on my skin, which makes it hard to talk. So let's go into the bathroom and take this off. Now remember, when you're taking it off, peel it upwards. I don't know why. That's just what they said to do. Alright, let's go to the bathroom. Okay, something else you're going to need is a towel to get the remaining um, charcoal off your face. And it has, you have warm water on it. It doesn't have warm water on it now. And some type of lotion to clean, to moisturize your face and whatnot. Alright, let's take this off. Pull it over. Okay, I'm not kidding. This, like, it's not, like, super painful, but I don't like it.
Oh my gosh, that took, like seriously, forever and a half to take off. I don't see anything on it. Wait, maybe I do. Oh my goodness. I still have all this to take off. Alright, I'll come back to you guys when I have it all taken off. Okay, I got most of it off. Now I just have to, I'm waiting for the water to warm up so I can get the rest of this stuff off. Again, when you're doing this, make sure that whatever you're using to take the charcoal off is something that is okay to possibly get stained. So as you can see, this charcoal has not yet come off of my shirt and it really stinks. I'm gonna have to like super spray and wash this. Okay, now my face looks really red at the moment, and I don't know if I should be concerned about that or not, but I don't feel any pain, so I'm not concerned at the moment. Now, I'm going to put my um, wherever this is, I got it at the farmer's market, as you can tell. It's kiwi and strawberry. I don't know who made it, but it works really well. Cucumber and watermelon. Cucumber and wherever that is. Where's the picture? There's the picture. Cucumber and watermelon. So I'm going to put some of this on my face. I remember watching Ben 10 as a kid. Who remembers watching the good Ben 10? Not the crummy version they have on now. The actual good animated version, not the stupid cartoony looking stuff. Alright. So, I put a lot of lotion on, so you can't see it in the camera. But, every now and then you can see lines of lotion on my face. And, but overall, um, it actually worked fairly well. Like, most of my blackheads and stuff, that's what it's meant to remove, are because they build up on the oiliest parts of the skin. And that's usually the forehead, nose, and even under your chin. And so for me, it's mostly my nose and my chin. And it actually worked fairly well. Um, I'm probably going to continue doing this, uh, maybe once a week I'll keep doing it just to kind of slowly get them all removed and whatnot. So something on the counter made my container wet. But I'll probably continue doing this maybe once a week. So I suggest doing it once a week or if you just want to do it once, just do it once. You know, you do you. So, yeah, and you guys saw how long I let stand for. I let stood for almost an hour. You don't have to let stand for an hour. Um, 
You can let it stand just until it dries, but I let it harden more and more and more. But the longer you leave it on your face, the more it'll harden onto your skin, and the more it's likely to get every all the stupid crap off of your face. So I will see you pups in my next video. Goodbye.